Hi, everybody. Welcome to the second segment, episode 197, Sold with Updike Pugh. I'm Jeff Updike. I'm Weston Pugh. And today's topic was going to be the realities of home pricing. I think I think I named it a little differently, which was, what in the heck's going on with prices? <laughs> <laughs> well, but, <laughs> you did say that last week because I think that this is on everyone's mind right mm-hmm. now. Whether they're buyers or sellers or just curious about what's happening, this is a conversation that everyone is asking about. I don't care if you're getting your hair cut or you're ordering a, a coffee. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows and wants to ask us what's happening. Well, and you know, the slowdown in the market is, it's always a period of, of concern because you know people that own property want to make sure that their values stay up. People right. that are interested in buying want to know if it's the right time for them to buy and people that you know are selling want to know if it's the right time to sell. Yeah, and so what we here yeah. have is some statistical data that makes this a little easier, less sensationalized than you see in some of the headlines. And so we're just gonna kind of drill it down, yep. take off the fluff, yep. and talk about what is happening. And again, we're talking about from counties, mm-hmm. but know that what we really like to do in areas that you're interested in, we like to drill down and pull out, whether it's zip codes, school districts, high rises, we like to get granular and give you the best information we can. Real estate's local. Always local, just like the weather. So the first slide we're going to talk about today is comparing June 22 to August 22. This is really basically the beginning of summer to the end of summer with the percentage change in the closed sales average price. Yeah, and so what we see here on the far left-hand side is the maroon, and that shows you all of Netris, and that's down 5.8%. And as we move across that, the blue one in the middle, that's Dallas County. And again, that's down 14.8%. And that that's comparing. And one of the things that we have to keep in mind about talking about the average sales price is that it only takes one or two really big sales to, to potentially skew that average sales price. Yep. And it's like we've gone in from June to August from a market where we were aspirationally pricing homes to now we're really trying to figure out what is the true price. We're not having to think price Mm -hmm. plus 10. Yes. And so the the next slide that we're going to talk about is the uh, list to sale price and how that has changed again from the beginning of summer this year until kind of the end of summer just uh, a month or so ago. And if you look across all uh, all the Netris counties combined, the right now we are about ninety eight point eight percent of what list price is. That's what homes are selling for. Where if you compare that uh, the the June of I'm sorry, but that was just August. But if you're comparing it to June of this year, that was a hundred and two percent of list price. So the houses were going. 2.3% on average over what they were listed at. And Dallas County itself was just 99.3%. And so it's not that the sky is falling because 99.3% is just mm-hmm. 0.7% off of 100% of list price. Mm-hmm. And as we talked about in the first half of the show, when we were talking about market watch days on market, you know, the average can be 30 to 16. So it, again, you're going to hear Jeff and I say it over and over again. Real estate is specific, Mm -hmm. very geographically specific. It really is. And price appreciation is another um, component that we wanted to talk about. So this compares August 2021 to August 2022. Again, the closed average sales price of the home. Comparing those two dates, the all of Netris, the price is up over the course of that year about 13.6%. Um, Collin County is up about 18.8. Dallas County was a solid 10% up year over year from last year. And this is just incredible because I remember when I first got in the market that we always talked about that Dallas typically only appreciated 2 to 3%. Mm-hmm. And now we're talking about 10% in one year. And that's not just, I mean, that's one year. And yeah. you look back and we've appreciated and appreciated each year for so long. So that is one of the interesting things to see that we have this and that we also are seeing uh, prices slightly decline um, from June um, to August. So the the next slide that we're going to talk about is comparing the last three years. So we're going to go back to August of 2019 versus August of 2022. And if you look at MLS, just the whole MLS and Netris, Netris uh, combined, the value or the average sales price is up 
almost 48% over the course of those three years. Collin County is up almost 60% over the course of those three years. And Dallas County is up almost 40% over the course of those three years. So if we know that last year was 10%, then the other two, you take that away, and you've still got 30% left over mm-hmm. 29 and change. Mm-hmm. That is a huge appreciation. Huge. Yeah. So even even a, a slowdown in the, the pace of sales, which tends to cause the the frenzy of the pricing not quite be so frantic. Right. It, it you know, if I were looking at some at, at a home that I've owned at least for the last three years and think, oh my gosh, my value's gone up thirty percent in the in the last three years, that's pretty good. Yeah, and one of the things that I think that we hear a lot of times by uh, sellers are trying to figure out when to put their house on the market and they're afraid that maybe they're putting on the market and they're leaving money on the table. And that's really not the case that's happening right now. Prices have just normalized. And if you think about it, 70% of today's sellers are going to be buyers mm-hmm. in the future. And if you think about that, you're not having to pay 2%, 3%, even more over this price. Because right. that was really the weird part about bidding in the last 18 months is you never knew who had cash and who was so sick of bidding that mm-hmm. they were going to go bananas on something. That's true. So so if I were a seller right now and I'm and, and knowing that I'm going to be buying in the same market I'm selling in, you know, chances are you're not going to be paying that 102% right. when you're buying. Right. You're not going to get caught really having to stretch yourself and really dip into all of that cash savings. And one of the really good things that's different about today's market is the homeowner equity. So if you look at um, uh, September 1 of, of 2021, homeowner equity was at the uh, at the high of, of 70.1%. And so this kind of this chart really shows you what 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 would the market look like if the price were to decline by 10% and what if it were to decline by 20%. Yeah, and I think one of the headlines here that I don't think is sensationalized is that we have 29 trillion dollars in home equity right now. And that's amazing. So if you take and look at what if your house decreased in value by 10%. So let's say if you look on the right hand side of this, 67.2% would be a decrease of 10%. And you then draw your imaginary line over to where it intersects with the red line. I think that gets us all the way what they say to like 1987. Mm -hmm. That's how long ago. And if you do the same thing for down 20%, which would be 63.1%, you would have to go all the way back to 2005. So we are sitting in a very, very healthy spot right now. Something completely different than when we saw in 2008 and nine when Mm -hmm. the economy collapsed because of real estate. If we're in an inflationary status, home is staying stable. It right now is the backbone of the economy as it should be. Yes, it, it is. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, it, the number's always really interesting to us. We do like to make this very granular because real estate is local. So if you have any in, uh, information that you'd like to have further than this, just reach out to us. If you'd like us to narrow these stats down to whatever neighborhood you have, we would be happy to do that for you. And just remember, we want to be realtors for life. When you're ready to talk real estate, you can reach us online, by phone, or by text at 214-377-2223. And remember, we want to be Realtors for Life.